All right. play Let's continue. Uh, not sure if I'm going to be sp speaking much tonight, but we will see. All right. It is quite late. I am streaming late, late much later than usual. It is currently midnight Montreal time. So I hope that um, everyone is good. Uh, let's see, post. Alright, so thanks Dan and Cien, Mr. Garf nineteen eighty eight and Psychosis for the hosts. Hopefully these loading times will forever be in, etched in our minds, because it takes forever. They'll be I, watching the last time I, I failed the quest. Well, what did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor, Malaka's liar. How did the quest complete? I failed it last time. There's another thing over there. Okay. I didn't discover that yet. Alright, let's see who I can... What are my quests? What am I doing? Some quests I know ran out. Recommended 12. 
Alright, inventory. Let's see what I have. Do I have anything? No. Nope. Oh, I have other things that I can... I have bear scrotum. From the smell, you can tell this is the fresh scrotum of a bear. The medicinal properties of this item are still a topic of some debate amongst medical doctors. Fun times. Fun times. Alright. Um, where should I put my next thing? Shoot a spread of five arrows at the same time. Each deal 100% hunter damage. Special arrows can be used. Hold A to jump. Falling does cause damage, but not fatal. Next up, green fall does not cause damage. I need level 20. Uh, ooh. I've already gotten that. Need level 15 for that. that okay assassination and knockout damage are increased by 20% automatically loot the enemy after assassination sure sure thing fun times all right let's see now uh, I should watch my step around here oh yeah what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Quests. Uh, collect animal parts. Deer can be found in the northern part of the Grand Mount Perennisos. And that, if I remember correctly, is not far from here. Ooh, undiscovered location. Away we go. Really? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I do, however, need to go hey. to a blacksmith because I need to upgrade shit. Ella. Around. Me got the best braces. My that, huh? Uh, bye. Uh, level 12. You know what? Let's sell. Bye. Hmm. Where would I want a unicorn? What's the advantage of having a unicorn? This fabulous animal of legend is loyal command. Okay.
that. Um, okay. Staffs. Often use that. Uh, no, I don't need that. Um, uh, all right, let's get the hell out. Good day to you. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. I hit the road, which is a good sign. He fell in the water. Oh darn. Ella. I found a new mercenary. Disregard of respect. It's insane. At least I'm getting closer. Come on. Hiding in plain sight. I just want to go to the peak. Come on. Oh, that's the peak. Okay. Uh, I don't think my. place though. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like, but I look horrendous. feeling that the look 
I'm gonna look over everything. It's gonna look beautiful. Synchronization point. Done. Oh. That looks fucking awesome. Holy crap. Look at the colors. The stream doesn't do give it justice. When you're playing it live, it's amazing. Fall in the water, I'm assuming. Awesome. Let's go up. Uh, so that was one synchronization thing. Everything that's there. I don't know where that's supposed to be. Okay. Alright, so I can kill those motherfuckers. That's fun. Um. So that's not what I wanted to do. Snake in the grass. Nikola Nikolaus had ominously warned Alexios about snakes in the grass. So when Alpinor tried to kill him in Pilgrim Landing, he'd finally shed his skin and revealed his deceitful and deadly nature. Complete all cave objectives. Six of twenty. Find the hunt the Colonian boar. The Colonian boar is focus. It roams in the northern part of the sacred lands of Apollo. And this one's really close. Uh, this one I can't do. Yeah, I can't do it on level 25. Uh, Alright. Nikolaj should honestly snake in the grass, assassinate Alpinor. I guess that was it. Too far from here. Why don't I just go by foot? Might be easier. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a few things I needed to change in my inventory. This one, there's a 12. I don't know what the hell this is. I honestly do not know. I haven't unlocked it yet, and I have no clue what it is. However, I can take 12. So. The foliage is freaking awesome. Alright, iron metal for the win. Okay, so I have to kill the polymark. I don't want to be spotted here. Kill two captains, burn war supplies, and loot trigger. Alright. Uh, let's see what we have to what we have to be working with. That's my captain. That's another captain. That's another one. Oh, 
Crusher. Uh, where are you going? Oh, there's where I burned. That's a trap. And there's another one there. Okay. Okay. So. Hey, how's it going, Lady Whiplash? How are you doing on this fine evening? Um, fuck, I'm not gonna waste a fucking arrow on that. Um, okay, how can I go down? Is it raining? Oh, sun shower. Sun shower, that's nice. Um, Schnitter, I can't just go down here. Can maybe. Let's. Can I save? I cannot save. Fuck. How are How are you doing? Hope that you're fine. I'm assuming that you love to watch Assassin's Creed. I'm hoping the cave. Is a way to get in. But I may be wrong. Ah, cool. I am good. I am very good. I am streaming quite much much later than I normally stream. Um, normally I stream um, around 7 p.m. Eastern, and it's 12.30 now? No, 12.15. So I just literally started streaming like 20 minutes ago. Oh, treasure. Oh, sweet. On which, um, which channel? I'm just curious. Because I'm part of a few Discord channels, so. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, sure, no weasel. Awesome guy. Are you in the same neck of the woods as him? Uh, UK? Because it's pretty late in the UK. More treasure. More loot. Boy, there's a lot of fucking things up there. Wait a minute. I just did the whole... So this cave is really nothing. It doesn't do anything. I can't it's not a secret entrance to anything. Unless I go down, which I can't quick save, fuck. Oh, okay, so you're not too bad. <laughs> In terms of time zone. So it's a little bit more manageable. Although I have seen people um, on my stream um, Let me just do one thing first. Just do one thing, which I might be doing every time. But apparently I do. Ah. 
back. Alright. So I can't. stuck. Have you played Assassin's Creed uh, or, uh, um, Odyssey? Uh, Alright, so now I have to think of my strategy of going in. save. Okay. So at least I'm not starting from it, from nowhere. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's somebody up there. Somebody on top of me, isn't there? Oh, oh, I can go up. Okay. Uh, well, this wasn't too hard. Why can't you, uh, out of curiosity, why can't you game? Not enough money to buy games, don't have enough, uh... I'm just curious. Alright. He's heading inside. One down. I missed some stuff on the other side. Fuck. Ah. Ah, that's fine. Um, could you spare 150, 100, uh, 200 bucks? Because the reason I'm asking is because I actually have a retro pie that has a hundred, uh, has 10,000 games and I got it from, um, I got it from, um, That's okay. Oh, I'm glad you're putting me in the background while you're you're knitting. It's uh, you no, know, it's good. I may zone in and out here uh, because um, shit. Is there another one there? No, uh, no, he's there.
Um, yeah, so I went to, uh, I bought my RetroPie from Today's Trends, and uh, for 200 bucks you get 10,000 games, so you'd be able to stream, um, probably, or at least play them, and to be honest, it's not that expensive. You're playing with ROMs, right? So... Fuck, do I go? Oh, fuck, man. Let's choose something a little bit better. I'm gonna read what you said, like, in. Give me five minutes. So I kill one captain. Oh shit. not make it out of this one. Okay. Um, yeah, when when you're in the outskirts, it's uh, it's not easy to um, it's not easy to uh, to get internet. Even here in Canada, it's. Um, I mean, if you live close to a big urban city, but if you live like in the middle of nowhere, a lot of places still have satellite. I gotta start this shit all over again. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Huh? You're not supposed to. That's it. There he is. 
Uh, nobody's noticed me. That's the one thing I hate about this game. You climb on shit that's like you didn't want to climb on. All right. Well, I'm happy that you were you managed to uh, to find my stream, um, no matter which way it, was, it is. And I'm glad that you are able to enjoy it, and hope that uh, you'll uh, you'll like it enough to come back. Um, usually, yeah, dial up, you. That's that's not good, you know. I go last time because I remember going up and there was a place up oh there we go so normally during the week I play these types of games which are more story driven uh, more intense, longer games. Um, so right now I'm playing, Assass obviously, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm playing Dead Space 2. And normally on weekends, I play... Um, um, I play a retro game of some sort. So that shouldn't be as hard on the... Um, on... That shouldn't be as hard on the um, on the streaming as some of these bigger games or nicer looking games. Um. Is there anything here? No. Fuck. All right. So. Let's see what, what what's up here. So I busted that. Surprisingly, nobody heard me. Wow. Okay. Um. Um, 
No, it's the second one actually. This took a practice run. Yeah, Kenny. So it's the it's this uh, the second one in the series that started with uh, Origins, and this is the next one after. Um, all right. So let us see what my next move is. Um, so the way that it works. Um, you have difficulty levels depending on which faction and it is actually um, I'm starting to think it's a little bit like how Deus Ex is in a sense that it's story driven but you get elements of an RPG so like if I click on here I get to upgrade my my weapons depending on what you know what level I'm at I can upgrade um, if I go to a blacksmith um, I can go into and upgrade it and engrave these certain things and then depending on where you are or what type of, um, of, of achievements you have you'll have more that can be added and that can you can uh... yeah um, it keeps it a lot more engaging and to, to be honest it's um, it's become a little bit um, more it's become a lot more interesting it's really hard for me so I got the um, I got the last like the, the, I think the first three four Assassin's Creed were free um, and it's hard to go back to the old Assassin's Creed, although the graphics and the storyline were great for that time. The fighting mechanics are a lot better in Origins. The problem I have with Origins, though, is that it is a lot... Uh, it's very repetitive. So it's, you know, once you get through the, like, the first little area, so here you have a huge map. And like to discover, there's like a like the map is insanely huge. There's like all kinds of this areas you ha you can discover and look at that. It's insanely big. Um, but the thing is, with the other one, with Origins, when you got to this like one place, all the side missions were all the same. Uh, it's not really avoiding f avoiding fights per se. It was more... I found a little bit more puzzle. Um, this one is more strategy in the sense that, okay, I'm going into a clusterfuck. The only thing I hate, it's because I'm in an enemy area, I can't save. So there's no quick save in this area. And I can't actually save in the main menu. Because I'm in a, a, an er in a bad area. So I have to be really careful. Um, so it actually, like, you know, really encourages you to... Alright, so... That's that. Let's carry this guy here. I don't want him to know anything. Technically, you don't have to do that, but it is a good thing to do because then you can get discovered. All right. Um, okay. So now I'm here. This thing hasn't disappeared, however. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, so who's on top here? Ooh, there's a thing on top. Is there a, a ladder to go on top? Oh, yes, there is. Yay. 
it does it is um i was always a fan of assassin's creed only because i liked the storyline and the history aspect of it but they really nailed it out of the park with origins even though it was repetitive it was really it, i liked the story the ending was a little bit mm, but odyssey so far seems to be less rep i think they kind of learned from origins and it's a little bit less repetitive you know what you can be so there's two different there's different ways you can play you can play straight on like beast mode where you you know you just go in and destroy everyone or you can go in um you know stealth wise i go with stealth wise only because i find it's a little bit better um it makes it a little bit easier on the game when you're stealthy <laughs> But, again, what's beautiful about this game is that you can play however you want to play. Right, what's in here? What does it have? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Out, dumb flames! Out! <laughs> Alright, and this one, what's good is that you can actually, so you have different factions and areas in Odyssey where they have a leader and you can weaken them down. So by getting certain things done in the area, like killing the captain, uh, killing the, the pol polymark and the, uh, the supplies, you get to weaken them and to a point you can win, right? So... All right, so let's see if this will get me noticed. Wow, did the guy just stab him in the fucking ass? Wow, okay. Well then, that happened. Um... Okay, so, and yes, I admit I'm not the quickest, most action-y guy when I play this, so I'm playing pretty, um, um, I'm playing this, like, at my own pace, so I apologize if I'm too slow. <laughs> um, I just don't want, I just do not want to restart this area anymore. Ah, uh, fuck, that guy's gonna see me. Shit. Um. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. Uh, okay, there's nothing around here to really hide me. Alright, so let's go here. Eventually, I'm going to have to fucking go out and... The thing is, they gang up on you by numbers, so can, you know... Oh, <laughs> uh, I never said the AI is intelligent. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Uh, next move. I can't shoot there. So I have to be stealthy there. All right. Oh, I managed to. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, that works for me. The only thing that kills me at still to this day about this game is that is 
because it, sometimes you climb on things you don't want to climb on, which can be frustrating. But, hey, such is life. The one thing about this game, though, if you max it out, especially on PC, it's absolutely gorgeous. The, uh, the stream right now, is, as much as it's 1080p, or at least it's supposed to be, it doesn't give it justice. Um, fuck. Surprised. Alpinor! You coward! Alpinor knew I would come for him. Use that imposter to lure me into a trap. Your plan failed, Alpinor. Soon, you will join your imposter. Make sure you kill the so-called messenger of the gods this time. I await news of the success in the cave behind the snake ruins in the Valley of the Snake, Alpinor. Alright. Um... This is the feature that's really good, actually. Um, that's what makes you discover the different areas. It's not. Um, a lot of the mechanics and a lot of the gameplay, um, it's from Origins. They kind of revamped it in Origins, and they just improved on it on Odyssey. The issue I have is that they said with Origins that they would never do like yearly editions of shit, and well, last year it was. Uh, last year was Origins, and this year it's Odyssey. So, uh. Uh, fuck is. All right. Let's see. No, no, that's not what I want to do. Let's go in. fire in this area. Um, the only thing that sucks is you can't, like, okay. So these are guys, they're all, this guy's on the ground, that's a cat, I don't give a shit. there. Uh, you remember back, it seems like a busy year, they significantly improved on it. Yeah, um, well, origin, yeah, so I think there was a couple of years in between. There's a period of time where they were releasing two, three a year at one point, like the year of back Black Flag, Unity, and I forget what it is, the other ones. Um, 
which is fine, but it got like really diluted and the gameplay was like lackluster at best. So they took a step back and said they wouldn't release it every year, but they did it again. So I don't know if, um, shit. Outside, fuck. Okay, I want that guy to come. Please walk on by here, sir. Oh shit, he went upstairs. I remember back in L4D2, at least I was among the number of people who found the rapid release of the sequel disconnecting that from hadn't even really fullified their promises with regard to expanding the first one. Yeah. Um. In the series, the first three were really good of Assassin's Creed. Um, one, two, and three, and I think Revelations is the fourth one, I think. Uh, the one, the series with Enzio. Um, but... Captain. that done apparently nobody knows when you're fighting so <laughs> uh, oh geez that almost makes me think of the overly ledged grabby mechanics of dead cells <laughs> yeah oh there's another oh jeez through. He's gonna be a motherfucker. regulars now. Nice. <laughs> uh, right. This guy is being cautious. So. Come on. Come to Papa. You have zero chance against me. Come on. You gonna walk away? Oh, 
fuck, you went to call reinforcements. A bastard. It's time to raid the No, you don't! Fuck. Oh, you set up the... <laughs> they tried to set off the mine. I, my trap worked. Yay! Um, Alright. Alright, let's go. Why do I still have a freaking thing floating over here? It's supposed to be a... Alright, so let's get him. Let's get to here. Come on. Sneak sneak attack your ass. You're dead, bruh. Good for you. Uh, that one's not doing anything. That one's not doing anything. I love that move. That is the best move you can fucking do. Alright. Uh, so, how many people do I have fucking left to kill? get a few I gotta get this guy uh, I think that's it holy shit all right in a cage so technically I don't really need to yeah yeah well, that's the guy that hell fell before <laughs> alright um, you know what there's probably an achievement It's not a game for PETA. Alright. Let's go and loot. I have only have two burn supplies left, and I know where it is. Because there was no fire around where I was supposed to go. Uh. Alright. <laughs> that 
that's something that would be really cool. Um, actually, speaking of, of uh, that same actual idea, um, I wanted to... So, for Fallout, I've been watching streams of Fallout 76, and I'm really not a fan of it. Um, only because... Um, I don't like how they, the multiplayer aspect, and the fact that there's no NPCs, um, and the thing is, what I had suggested for Fallout 4 was a co-op mode for Fallout 4, right? So, you have, like, did I miss something? Oh, yeah. Um... And you could probably have it would probably could probably be pretty fun if you have it with this one. All things considered. Is there anything above? Yep. Man, there's a lot of loot. At least it wasn't at least the, the fighting wasn't for nothing. Uh, there we go. Alright. And the fact that you know, co-op could be really fun. However, the thing with Fallout is that they kind of took out the aspect of the single-player campaign, right? There's not really... There's not really a, a, a single-player campaign, which kind of takes away from that Fallout experience. Yes. Um... They decided to make an MMO out of it, essentially, but a really bad one. Well, in my opinion, anyways. Um, come on. Uh, Alright. There's more thing. Uh. Poops. Alright. I was here already. What the fuck is this treasure? I keep seeing on the map, but it's like, okay. Oh, fuck, it's there. Good. Yeah, I wasn't, a lot of people like Battle, uh, Borderlands 2, but I think it was 2 that they started that with. And then they came out of Borderlands, there's another Borderlands. Yeah, I completely agree. I, look, I'm, I'm, you know, I watch your streams, so you, the, the first person story driven game, I know Doom is probably not the best example, but, you know, those types of games where you experience it, um, is fun. But, now everything, because, because a few games became super fucking popular. Oh no! Oh, okay, good. I didn't die. Became super popular. Um, yeah, so I have to find fire now. Oh, there we go. Um, now everybody has to follow suit. Everybody has to do the same thing, and it's like, come on, you know? That should slow down the Athenian conquest. Okay. How many arrows do I have? Uh, actually, 40 arrows. Sweet Jesus. All right. I'm all arrowed out. All right, so what's my next quest? That only took me an hour. That's fucking spectacular. Uh, inventory. Uh, and what's this? A letter from Elpenor. Oh yeah, I read that already. It's like okay when you want to enter the battle royale market way late. 
I'm okay with Call of Duty sowing its own seeds of destruction. Also, tangentially talk. Real talk, I kind of want to play the Titanfall games after seeing Titanfall 2 run on GHQ, but I would avoid Origin like the plague. So, actually, I did play um, I did play Titanfall uh, and Titanfall 2. Two kind of separate games in a way. Um, the mechanics are kind of different in the second one in a way. Um, but they were both extremely fun. The what killed Titanfall is the fact that it got released at the same time as like 30 other games and it became a footnote, but it was really, really good. But I agree, I would stay away from Origins <laughs> if I could. So, we'll see how that bears out. Um, complete Cave, Elpenor, uh, that's fucking far. All right, let's go onto the map, and let's mark. Boom. This I never understood why people do this. They take fucking pictures. It's like it's a fucking game. Uh, this one. So I did this location. I'm done. Ah, uh, fuck mm. off. Let me find myself in a row. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest. Final Fantasy for me, I'm one of the few. I never got into it. Um... You know, people are saying it's classic and so on and so forth. I just don't. I don't see it. I never found the appeal of it. I know it's you know the classic MM, the classic game, but I never got into it. I I got like the first the first few like, on NES and consoles that con followed it, but then when it's the remake over the remake over the remake and Final Fantasy 15, I just didn't give a shit. I honestly just. The problem is with. Fu so, a lot of the problems with these big games is that it takes you forever to fucking finish them. I mean, it's fun and, and all that, but um, if you want to finish a game, it takes you months. Like Fallout. You know, Fallout, Fallout 3 was manageable. And what I liked about Ma Ma Fallout 3 is you didn't really have to do the side quests. You could have just done the main quest and you're fine. I've never seen so many old trees. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna step on people, aren't I? Eh, close enough. And I think, you know, what makes the appeal of the old games like Doom and Quake um, and a lot of those first, you know, like Heretic and, and Hexen, it's that it's games that are, okay, they're long, but it doesn't take you like eight days to fucking finish one mission. I just stepped on a freaking kid, but that's okay. The only thing I hope that they never do with uh, Assassin's Creed is get rid of the synchronization. It's what makes it, you know, amazing. The views are just so... Un oh, man. Well, actually, that's one of the reasons why I started I started streaming. Essentially, I started streaming because I, there's a lot of games that I never actually finished. Or I finished very, like, very quickly and I didn't explore the whole world. So, I... I, um... Okay, that was one. 96, okay. Um, streaming actually forces me to finish games. So... That's one of the reasons why I do it, plain and simple. Uh. 
What's your problem? Why don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, <laughs> C for yeah, another. Yeah, Hexen is hard, don't yeah. Get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your Ooh. fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. I am a god. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Uh, streaming with that's gonna be not fun. You know the game that actually was really hard for me, and I ha I could never finish it because I found it annoying was Heretic Two. Um. Heretic 1 is fine. I've seen even you, you played on stream, but her is it Heretic 2? I know Hexen, Hexen is part of the series, but I think it's Heretic 2, the one where they took out the first person vantage point and it's it's uh, third person. I forget which one it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. And that's the one I never finished because I got so frustrated. Although I saw Kilgore Trout uh, finish it a few months back. And I have to give it to him. He had the patience. But I just gave up. I won't put him like, eh. <laughs> Watch your tongue. Malaka, I came to see if you needed help. Okay, cool. Fuck you. I, oh, I get them all mixed up. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. I guess that makes me a, <laughs> a bad oh. gamer. <laughs> okay, sorry. Been a bad day. I finished my business with the Oracle and was meant to meet my ship here. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. Tell me about your ship. Why did you see the Oracle? So you sought the Oracle's advice? Her? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> seek counsel in the wind from my ass. <laughs> then why seek her out? Yes, they deal. sounded like New Yorkers. I suppose no harm in telling you. She lets me know where the pillars are. The accents are not exactly from. great. Then I supply the transport for their journey, and we split the fee. So you're trying to tell me... And it's the funny, because... ...divine intuition of where the pilgrims will I'll be coming from? Them. <laughs> Fuck no. She asks her believers how full the ports are. Then she tells me. Simple. So, in... Is it Origins? I think it's in Origins. At one point, you meet some French people... And it's hilarious because they sound, uh, they have a dialect from Quebec, obviously, because the Ubisoft that makes those games are from, is from Montreal, and I'm from Montreal, so they, uh, when you hear the French, it's not Fran it's not Parisian French, or France, French from France, it's <laughs> Quebec French, and it's odd <laughs> to hear that, it's like you hear the... It's it's a lot more uh, brass brash as as a as a an accent, and uh, yeah, it's funny. You and the only reason I know it's because I'm from here, right? I got the average person everywhere. is not going to realize it. Right now, to them, French is French. My fucking ship. Tell me about your ship. So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um, I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, we sort of help out. Oh, your girl? Yeah, best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, Yiki will you? All I'll right. pay. I'll find your ship and Yiki. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. Yeah. Where should I look? Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate <laughs> that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. Uh, a hobby? You're trying to look at logic. Sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on that's you. your programming well, mind coming into to play. Hem. You have to kind of Plus, put that aside. I never got the cut from our last trip. <laughs> 
They wouldn't leave without yeah. getting paid. How can I recognize a Yiki? Describe Yiki. She's beautiful. She is. Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw Some her, people, it's a Mustang. Herds or both. Up. Not helpful. Okay, okay. She's raven haired and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. All right. New quest, cruelest. Uh, collect animal parts. Deer can be found in the northern part of the Grand Mount. Yeah, I always, I've been wanting to do that mission for the longest time, and. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I would have to go here. So, let's do that. I'll find our ship after. That's the one thing about this game. You get, like, really confused with some of the missions, and then at one point, you get off track, and you forget to do old missions. So... How did your, um, if you're still listening, um, how did uh, the conference go last week? For, uh, um, what's, what's the hell the name of it? I always, for, I always forget the name of it. Uh, GQ or whatever. GDQ? No, not GDQ. Ah, <laughs> uh, GDQ, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I thought you went. Because I think you've gone a few times, haven't you? All right. By the way, part of this mission that I'm completing right now, the first part, was me cutting bear testicles. So, yeah. I'm not a big conference guy to start off with. It's enough I have to do it for work. <laughs> I mean, I like to stream. It's nice. It's a nice hobby and stuff. But I'm not. Um, I'm not making money off of this, and I'm not quitting my job for this. So I just do it for fun. I'm sure it's really fun. You meet other streamers and stuff. Um, but. Um, alright, so where am I going now? I want to go here. So, the north. So, I would have to go here. Okay. And this horse, no matter where you are, is... Alright, so... Let okay. us go to... Uh, here, and then I'm gonna go north from there. Oh, Hold fuck up. off. Seriously? Uh. Oh, there isn't a road. You were right. I'm on. Shit. Okay. Spineless jellyfish. Okay. I find, um, I don't know, maybe it's, my, maybe I'm showing my age. But I also, uh, and I have the same views about movies, TV, and pretty much any kind of other type of entertainment. Um, I don't, I, f I find that for some stuff, we kind of forget why we play games or why we watch movies. You know, um, some of these games that I've played 
get like massacred in the ratings, you know, when they came out. But they're good. They're good, decent games. It's just that people are so critical about them and they're so vocal about it. It's like, holy poops. Um, all right, so where am I now? Where am I pointing and where am I? I am going in the right direction. So if I climb that mountain, I should be good. All right. It did say north, right? Well, they are. Because um, the thing about games is that you have northern part of the Grand... Okay. Um, you know, like Red Dead Redemption, everybody gave it a 10. Um, or pretty much, or close to. Um, I'm sure it's great. But if it's a good game, people are going to play it eventually anyways. Um, and I find that if a game doesn't make its money within the first week, it kind of... Is there anything here? No. Um, within the first week, people kind of like, eh, it's not that great. Right? Um, and case in point, you have some games that have like a lot of problems. You know, glitches and stuff like that, and they get like a 9. And then other games, they're judged the same way, but they get a 6. You know. Oh! I I'm not saying that it's not, but I'm just giving that as an example. I plan on playing it. I'm just not going to play it at the same time as everyone else. Because when I do review it, I want to make sure that I have a clear head. And I'm not, you know... Um, and it's it's... It's 60 hours for the main quest. Holy fuck, that's beautiful. Holy shit. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? He said it's part of the north. Well, I'm in the north. Can't get much more north than this. Where am I supposed to get again? Deer... Uh, deer can be found in northern part of the Grand Mount... Parnassios. Okay. I'm here. There's things there. That's where I came from. Where the fuck are these deers? Seriously. Let's just try to look a little bit more. And after that, fuck it. We'll go back. Speaking of which, I should save. Um, not seeing anything moving. Highly doubt there's anything in there. Oh, fuck it. I'm going back. I was wearing Fairlight Stream, it wasn't well. Yeah. And that's the thing, a lot of the people that I, I watch on stream, um, including your channel, is that you guys take it for the fun of it. You know, you play the game the way you want to play it, and it's just for fun, right? Um, regardless of rating, regardless of anything, and you have your own opinion on it, and that's it. Right? Um, and like music, or like movies, every game has its own set of players and followers. So you're going to have some people that are going to love Assassin's Creed and other people who can't stand it. And why is it? No. I don't like the gameplay, I don't like it's repetitive, it's blah, blah, blah. Whatever reason it is, as, as good of, it could be as good as any other reason. Uh, I thought there was supposed to be a mission here somewhere. I guess not. 
Alright. Fuck that. Uh. Yes. Here, you spineless jelly Malaka! <laughs> if it isn't the eagle barrack himself! You got big since Kefalonia! And you got old, Fotios, the dog's breath. Last I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> Thanks, Ken uh, Kenny. Thanks for passing by. I think it's the first time you've actually, like... I've no, you've already chatted with me, but this is the first time you've had, like, a, a long conversation, so... I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> have a good night, and have a good week, and I'll catch you on your stream uh, very soon. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. A cushy job. Most days... I wish I could retire. I could use a break myself. <sighs> Some break this is. Today feels just like old times. The job got harder than anticipated. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zephyrs, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. I'll hunt down the priests. All right, I'll help you, but... But what? Never mind the reward. I haven't forgotten the old days. I owe you one, Potios. No reward necessary. <laughs> I thought I was getting soft. Where did the priests go? So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. How do you know they were priests? I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. I'll find the priests. Come to think of it, I found a dead priest. He had a letter on him. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Armis. That's them all right. <laughs> Any clues? It said something about going to Despina Fort to sell their loot. I'll head that way. Oh no, it's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Press the wrong button. I just ran off of somebody off the road.
getting there. Slowly but surely. I see them. Come on. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Bit of blood on them, but the sapphires still shine.
Call it quits for tonight because I didn't attack this very well. I, had to, I didn't do my melodic, uh, methodic, usually uh, way that I do with things. So, um, thank you for everyone that passed by tonight and listened to the stream. Um, greatly appreciate it. Um, I just want to see if I can save it. It's going to start up again. Yeah, that's where I stop. Yeah, okay. I should be careful. So, that's fine. Just going to make sure, though. Uh, save. So what I want to do. All right, so I'd like to thank 
uh, Lady Whiplash um, and Kenny for passing by and chatting it up on the stream tonight. Um, also, like to thank whoever hosted me, which is um, a lot of people. Uh, Plotsky, PK Theater, Real Life Dinosaur, Psychosis, Danatian, Mr. Garth1988, The Great Champino, and Wasteland Ruckus. Thank you so much for uh, hosting me tonight. It's greatly appreciated. And I um, hope that you guys have a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, rest of the week. I should be streaming again tomorrow night. I'm thinking either I will continue with Odyssey or I will continue with Dead Space 2. So that's it. Have a wonderful evening and see you again very soon.